What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about what the mailman brought me, which is new brake fluid and new brake pads. So let's talk about uh, the fluid first. I got Project New G4335 fluid, and this is a one liter bottle. I got this from Speed Freaks USA, where I got my pads as well. Matt helped me pick this out and uh, you know, a lot of great knowledge, so thank you, Matt. I definitely recommend him. I will be linking them below on this uh, this uh, description down here. And um, I have not changed my fluid. I, I have the stock fluid in my ISF. And the last time I changed, had, I had it changed last time because it was part of the 60K service. Uh, my car was a CPO and that was just one of the things that they did at 60,000 miles. But when they did that, I wasn't tracking the car yet on road courses and they just put in the stock DOT3 brake fluid in my car. So, you know, I've ran my car now, uh, five road courses. The brakes have been, uh, you know, pretty good. They haven't really, you know, I've never had the sinking feeling where they've just, you know, gone down because they've boiled over or anything like that. Um, but I will be curious to see how much better that this fluid can, um, you know, take the abuse on the track. This is actually a, um, a, I think one of the highest rated wet and dry boiling point fluids that is out there. Um, I took some notes down just to get uh, some numbers right, but yeah, the, the dry um, the dry boiling point is 335 degrees centigrade, which is 635 degrees Fahrenheit, and the wet after you you know used it for a while is 220 what 221 which is 429.8 degrees Fahrenheit. This bottle is $57, uh, it's one liter. From what I read, the most of the people that have changed their fluid, they require a little bit over the 500 milliliters that some of the other products come in. So I should have some leftover of this, but you know, I just wanna make sure I do a complete, real good flush and I'll be using as much of this as, I, as possible. What, um, what is also kind of cool about this uh, brake fluid is that it uh, you know you might not know when you you, you need to ch uh, change your brake fluid but this stuff comes out green and then when it's reached its uh, you know usable life it'll turn um, crystal clear so you can actually just pop off your brake fluid reservoir look in there and say oh it's not green anymore it's clear it's time to change it out so that's a cool indicator I don't know of any other brake fluids um, that the ISF guys use that have that kind of um, feature built into it. So that's, that's a pretty neat feature. Um, you know, I, I thought about get, getting this or the Motul 660, which a lot of people also have very good things to say about. Um, I think that, you know, uh, the Motul 660, it's, they're, they're pretty comparable. The Motul 660's dry point is, uh, dry boiling point is 617 degrees. So just about, what, 18 degrees less than this stuff and 400 degrees uh, wet, which is, you know, just around 30 degrees Fahrenheit less than this stuff. So they're pretty comparable. Um, the price dis difference is not really that much. This is, this is $57, Motul 660 for two packs of the 500 milliliter to get the same amount is uh, $51 or so. So not that big of a disparity. I just chose to get the Project Muse just because, I don't know, maybe brand preference. And um, I haven't seen anybody try this out yet. So I thought I'd give it a, give it a go. But um, I was also ordering, I also got it because I was ordering a new box of my track pads, the HC800s. Now I just bought the fronts because the rears are still pretty good. I think I said in my last video, there's seven millimeters of, um, of life of pad left on them. And these, I just measured them. These are brand new pads. This is what they look like new. They have 10 millimeters of pad on them. So this is their original color, There's, you know, HC800. Uh, let me pull out the ones that I've used on my car. And I'll show you them side by side. This is what the used version looks like after you put heat into them and just break grease and everything. So you can definitely see the color has faded. Um, here's the... Uh, usable pad left this has about three mils and so that's why i got these because i think i'll probably get at least one more track day out of this and they'll be probably at one or pretty much done so i had these as backup 
for the track day following and you know like I said in my previous video I would be buying these again and I did because I really really like these pads um, they're $200 I think for the fronts um, they do a good job so I will be putting them to the side and they will be waiting to get it put on soon but yeah, I just thought I'd just hop in here and uh, let you guys know about the new purchases that I uh, just acquired this week. And I will be changing my brake fluid um, this weekend sometime, as well as my oil, because I'm coming up on my 5,000 mile oil change, the, I guess the 75K um, uh, maintenance interval. I'm at 72,500 right now, just because when I bought the car, the um, came with, you know, a two year, you know, the CPO, it came with two years um, warranty as, as well as the next four services. Well, first service, I bought it at like 51,000 miles, got the first service at six, uh, 55,000, then 60,000, and then 65,000 miles. And then I had to get the final service. I asked him, um, the Lexus dealer, I said, you know, I'm not gonna hit 70,000 miles for a couple uh, more months. Can I just, get a, a voucher or can you guys just, you know, let me uh, get that get that uh, service done when it's time. And unfortunately, they uh, I called a couple dealers and they said they couldn't do that because I guess the way it's, uh, you know, registered, they had to get it done in the month of the, the 24th month. So I got it done at, uh, I got the 70,000 service done at 67,500. So here I am now 5,000 miles later at 72,5 and I'll just be changing my oil myself. I look at the manual and I see the, um, you know, what's what they check and what needs to be done. And it's really just an oil change. I mean, filter, coolant, uh, make sure everything's good. But um, essentially the only real change is, um, is in the oil. So I'll be changing that this weekend. And, um, and then I have I actually have my way to filter. I still have to go get the oil. I'm gonna go get two, um, two uh, five uh, quart jugs. Um, probably gonna go with the Mobile One 5W30, the full synthetic. This time I've used that on uh, previous cars, other cars. I've never had anything you know bad to say about it. It's always seemed to be good. Uh, I'm just gonna go and get it. Get two jugs for like 50 bucks or so. And um, yeah, so I'll I'll be doing that this weekend and uh, putting in the new. Um, Brake fluid. I don't know that, you know, I'll notice any difference on the street. Actually, I know I'm not going to notice a difference on the street, but I will have to chime in, chime in later once I take this out on the track, which I'm planning on doing in a couple weeks, and see if there is a notable, no, noticeable difference, which I think there should be because, like I said, this fluid that's in my car right now is just the stock DOT3 fluid, which has boiling points way, way lower than this stuff. and. It's been there for two years or so now, and so it's uh, it's actually time to um, change that out. So, thanks for watching this video, and um, I don't know, maybe I will be making videos of how to do an oil change and how to uh, bleed your brakes on the ISF. We'll have to see um, uh, see if I get around to that this weekend. So, thank you again for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.